it's tough in an organization when you're struggling. You know, we've all been there where you don't know what it is. You can't quite put your finger on it. And it sometimes can be even more confusing when one driver is so much further ahead because you don't always point to a problem as much. Um, but there's a lot of smart guys on that team. Still early in the season, right? These guys are all figuring things out uh, still. You can't forget that. You come to a mile and a half track. This is the first mile and a half track that, you know, you're going to see a lot of norm out of this place. You need to be good here. This is a report card, in my opinion. A lot of teams look at this, and they're going to be readjusting. You know some of these guys came with different setups. You know, if you have four cars, why would you come this early in the season, um, you know, without spreading around a little bit and trying to figure some things out? I'm sure some of those those are going on within these organizations. You see that six car? I'm telling you, Keselowski, he's impressing me. He has turned this thing around. They struggled last year, got his teeth kicked in, didn't like that. He digs down. Coming to three to go in the stage, Jamie. Brad Keselowski running eighth right now. And but to your point, you know, Brad told me this is a great place. It's a great test to know what you have. And they want to be better than last year. They ended last week in seventh. He's been running top ten all race today. A little bit loose, but manageable. But another thing, he has a different spotter here today. TJ Majors, his normal spotter, is homesick, never made the trip out. So his brother, Brian Keselowski, is spotting for his brother for the first time ever. That's cool. Yeah, very cool. Happy for Brad. You know, again, that was a big step. It Brad's is. Brad's always made bold moves in, in anything when he does and uh, has the confidence to chase after it. He struggled last year, and he's, he's turning the page. I'm a believer. They did, but, you know, you've got to take into account it's not just going to a new team. It's owning the team, too. Like, there's a huge vested interest in turning it around and keeping your head in it and keep working. And Brad's a super talented guy, really nice guy. And I think that, obviously, we can see what happens when you have a passion and a big vested interest in making it work. Last lap, stage two. It's like William Byron is going to sweep the stages for the first time in his career. Twice previously here in Las Vegas, a driver has swept the stages and ended up going to victory lane. Definitely a little easier when there aren't any cautions. You know, you're out front, you don't have a whole lot of yellows to shake things up. William Byron takes that second stage again. Kyle William. Larson this time four tenths back. Alex Bowman 6.8. If you're William Byron and company, you're going, shh, Danny, don't say anything about them cautions. You're everybody else. Yeah, but hungry. we want to see them, Cliff. They're going to come. See it. We want to see them get you shaken watch. up. Kevin Harvick gets the 10th place.